Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the UMG draw text node. We're gonna run our example. You're gonna see the word "Hello World" in green, and if I click our button, it'll turn on and off. So let's look at the node itself. Let's type in draw text. We're gonna find it under painting, draw text, and this is the way the node comes by default. So we're gonna use this for our example. We're gonna unhook these two items. We're gonna compile it. And we're gonna get an error. We need a context and we need a text. Those are the two items that are required for our draw text node. Now our context is gonna come from here, our on paint function that we're overwriting, and our text is gonna come from wherever you want it. You can input it from a variable, or in this case, I'm making a literal text. At that point, once you compile it, all the other options are optional. So if we look at them, we have a position. So where in local space on our widget is this going to be drawn? What font object are we going to use? What size? You can see it comes with the default 16. What font type inside that font object? And then the tint. So looking at our example here, when we run it, you can see at 500, 500, I have the word hello world. By default, you're not really going to be able to get access to any fonts. If we disable our engine content, you're going to see I have a font HUD, but it's a HUD font that I created. It's a font object. If you don't want to make one or don't know how to make one, but still want to use this, if you open up your engine content, you'll find access to the default fonts that come with the engine. So like I can switch to Roboto Tiny, and it'll work from there. And you can see when we run it, now we have a different font. The on paint function we're overriding is in our event graph, functions override, and we'll find on paint. Once it's created, every frame basically, our UMG will redraw itself every time it's called to paint. And that's where we get our context that we plug in here. Because it's being redrawn every, because this information here, our draw text node, is being called every time we redraw it, in order to not draw it, you simply tell it not to do it. So in this case, I have a branch when I click the button that simply toggles our text on and off. So keep that in mind. This node is ran every frame. So if you don't want this to be run, our draw text node, simply tell it not to run. The other thing, if we go to our designer, we'll drag our image here and we'll hit play. You'll notice our text is on top of our image no matter what we do. Even if our image was a high number like 45,000, where it should be in front of everything, our draw text node is still on top of it. The draw text node basically goes on top of everything else. It's drawn as a last layer on top of all your other widgets. And that's it. That is our draw text node. Takes in our paint context and a text, and then some status information on the sizes, where it's at, and how we want it to look. 